Hey my friend, it's Duke. In this lesson, let's talk about what is optional. Why do you want to use optional and how to use optional. So let's go ahead, open your Xcode and let's get started. To talk about optional, let's create a new playground so that we can explore some Swift syntax and then we explore some of the optional features. Okay, so let's create a new playground and then I will name this guy optionals in Swift. Click next and I'm going to leave it in the download folder so that later on you can download uh, the material for this whole course. Okay, now let's talk about optional. For example, I have uh, let's say I have a struct. Now, if you don't know about a struct, it's pretty much just like a class, but you don't have by default to write an initializer for it. And there's a few other distinctions, but right now let's just focus on optionals. So I have a struct called game view controller. So um, don't don't worry about this game view controller. So how about I'm just game board like this. And game board cool and then how about inside this game board I have a label to tell how what is the mark right now what is the point right now so I have var point label which is a UI label like this and then we have var the point which is say a double cool all right now let's talk about this guy when we have a lot of time in when you programming when you code you have to as a programmer um, you have to deal with a lot of situations one situation is that this label right here or this point right here may exist for example this label it may exist already it exists because someone for example like in your storyboard okay so when you use the storyboard then when you connect an IB outlet remember inside your storyboard you can control drag into a class and then you have the IB outlet with var po uh, point label or label like this now that at that time when you use the storyboard then the label will be created by the storyboard and then assigned to this UI label var point label so it exists but it may not exist it may not exist it may not exist because maybe you forgot to have the IB outlets connected maybe as a programmer if you uh, create your own code right so you have uh, you write the code to design your own UI you forgot to do this or you forgot to assign that value into this point label UI label so it means that as a developer you have to deal with data most of the time that is the sole job of a developer we have to create program we have to create app so that we can manipulate data we can allow the users to share data to store data to do whatever stuff that we have to deal with data that's the whole purpose of programming of a building apps of building tools that allows people to create data to create something or share things or express things in all terms of the things that you can talk about that <laughs> whether it is music or it is movies it's just all data then as a developer you have to deal with a situation that the data may exist or the data may not exist now own data in programming you store that in variable right so variable may store some values or may not store some value because it is the case of nothingness we have some have to somehow store the case of nothingness we have to store nothing okay now i know that is kind of like weird it's that doesn't make sense at all but imagine imagine if um if you follow along with me so far uh since the programming lessons i often say that variable is just like a box variable is just like a box and if you think about the box the value of the box or the value of the variable inside that it can have some value but if you look at further inside the box it may not have anything it may have nothingness 
right? So in that case, we need another layer of data type. And to deal with that situation, to store the type of nothingness. But we have to make it somehow that it can be applied to any kind of data. Because, for example, uh, for an int, right? For example, an int, maybe you can say, you can argue that nothing in some examples is zero. Some example is negative one, right? So, for example, like if you want to find the index of an element inside an array, and you want to denote that there's no element at, with that value, so you return the index of negative one, then that will make sense. But in other cases, that information is invalid. So for example, a string, you can say that, okay, nothing means like an empty string. But in other cases, an empty string is really is some values. You can call any kind of string methods on this empty string. But the problem is, if you try to have any kind of different data, any kind of different types like these, and you have to invent your own way of store nothingness, it will be very messy, it is not standard, it is not safe and secure for developers to work with. That's why, that's why in Swift or in, in many other languages, we have another layer of storing nothingness of data types, and we call that in Swift is optional is optional. So optional to denote that this label, it may exist or it may not exist. You use a question mark like this. You use a question mark like this. Okay? So let's look at an instance of this game born. So for example, I have var let, let's say, uh, what's the game? Uh, uh, what's the game? Monopoly, right? Monopoly <laughs> equals to game board like that. And then you have open and close parentheses and you see that there's a default initializer like that. Double click into this and you have the point label. Now this point label, if I put it as nil, another new thing here. Nil, it means nothingness. Okay, so number one, we talk about we use optional to create a new layer of data types that can be nothingness. Okay? That can store nothingness, actually. And then number two, nil means nothingness. <laughs> okay? And then the point here, let's say, is 12.0. Like this. And you see that there will be no error again. You see this? Okay. Pretty cool, right? So that's pretty cool. Now, let's have, for example, let's have another case. Okay, so we have, say we have var the, how about the player username is a string. Player username is a string. And how about we have the var player address is also a string. Okay, now in this case, this player username, maybe we require it, we require users to have that username so that we can distinguish that user with millions of other users that we have in this game. But this address, most of the time it is not required, except you ship something to them and they, um, they want to have that thing that you ship to them, right? But in this game or in many apps, when you ask for the address, it usually is optional. And people can opt to, people can choose to give you the address or not. So in that case, you, already, you also have to deal with the case of the user doesn't give you the value of their address. Other words, it can be nil. It can be nothingness. It can be nothing. So again here, I'm going to store the value of string optional to say that, okay, I don't know. And by the way, we have to un uh, comment this guy, okay? So that it will not be an error because we just add two other uh, values here, variables. Now in this case, it means that this player address, it can be nil. Cool, all right. Now let's have another let. Say, um, what's another game that we usually play? 
Uh, I'm looking at some boxes in my office. <laughs> so let's have another Monopoly. Or, hey, let's Angry Bird to be game board. And then we have the points label. Let's say the points label I have put as nil. The points I put as 12.0. Is a place and username is Dtran. We have the address. About we have one two three, um, two four nine. Or about random avenue, like this, right? Cool. All right. You see this? Now. Look what happened if I access the value of player address. So we have Angry Bird, the player address. And then you see over here it says 239 Random Avenue. But that actually is the value of inside that box. Remember, the box is just like a variable. And I would say further that an optional is just like a box. An optional is just like a box because it can have some value or nothing so when we look at this if i hold the option key and claim to the player address you see at the title of this is var address player address is a string optional is a string optional so it means that it can be nil now if i print out this guy if i print out this guy if I print out this guy over here, you will see that it says optional 239 random avenue, not 239 random avenue, because the 239 random avenue is that some value inside this box. So this whole box, angry bird dot player address, is optional 239 random avenue. I know it's kind of like confusing, but it's actually really simple just like a box like this <laughs> it's just that simple all right now in order because when you when you use these things okay you have to like assign this pl angry bird the player address for example you print that on the label of the address on your ui and you don't want it to print optional 239 random avenue like that you want it to print 239 random avenue okay in that case, you have to use an operator to ungrab the optional. We have to use an operator to ungrab the optional. <laughs> Just like you use something you use like a knife to ungrab the box. Make sense? So in order to ungrab the optional, we use the exclamation mark like this some people call that the bang operator some people call that uh the ungrab um, optional um, operator i just like to call that the ungrab uh, operator okay because i hate that bang word it's just like so seems so violent my friend <laughs> it seems so violent bang it's like weird <laughs> okay so let's say we want to ungrab that so i print out the angry bird dot player address and ungrab it i use the uh, exclamation mark and close it and you see that it prints out 239 random avenue and by the way the way that we use this is just drag it up like this you see this pretty cool huh all right now when we use this thing it's works it's cool it's works but it's really really it's really uh why is that it's really unsafe because look what happened if I ch if I change this 239 random avenue instead of 239 random avenue the user choose to not give the address it means that this thing is nil and see this it says fatal error unexpected found nil while ungrabbing an optional value you are going to have this error a lot in your app and I would guess like two out of 10 questions or actually two out of, of like 30 questions <laughs> that i receive um from our courses from our videos here on on social media it is about that thing 
So all it means is that you have this thing is an optional and the value of this is nil and you try to ungrab that thing and it is fatal error, it doesn't work. It will crash your app. This thing, it means that it will crash your app and your app will not work and the user would say that your app is broken. It crashes, it doesn't work. And this is very bad. So we have to have another way we have to have another way to use this player address optional to ungrab it, right? So one way we can do this is we check. We check if, how about we have if uh, angry bird dot player address is equals equals to nil, right? We check if it is equals to nil, then how about we print something like uh, you didn't provide an address yet like that and then otherwise else it means that it is not nil right then we are going to cut this over here it means that it is not nil now we can un we can safely ungrab it like this and then you see that it says you didn't provide an address yet because it is nil cool but the problem is not we have another problem the problem is that this is kind of really troublesome. This is really troublesome because a lot of time, most of the time you want, when you want to do with optionals, you don't want to have like a bunch of, uh, you don't want to have a bunch of checks like this. You don't want to have a bunch of checks like this because most of the time you just want to use something like this, right? You don't want to have this case. How can we do that? That is what we will talk about in the next session. So that is optional. I hope that it clarifies for you some of the things maybe you have been stocking or some of the things that doesn't make sense for you in this course. But don't worry, we as we move on to the next few lessons, it will just continue to open the doors for you and you will get master in optional. It's really simple concept. Only text is just some, just kind of like some main points so that you can understand it and use it in your app. So I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions, if you want to need me anything to help you at all. And then in the next lesson, we talk about this concept called optional chain, I'm sorry, optional binding. What is that? Well, that is a way for us to e safely use optional in Swift. Very safe and very fast to use optional in Swift. I will not talk about it anymore. Let's talk about it in the next lesson. I see you in the next one.